G'day guys, I'm for years been getting a lot of these connectors damaged and I've been mentioning them. Uh, I just made a video about the connector but I might as well just do it about this braking system in this mass produced Golf. I get a, what, a couple, you know, I get a lot of these cars. So now what's, what's going on here with this clip is, that's a, a brake pad wear sensor, which usually the other side in Australia seems to wear out first, but to release this clip, right, you just do this. Okay, and pull it off with your hand. Pull these off, right? With the wheel, do it on the ground. The air tools, I mean, they're all getting over tightened and whatever. Obviously you have to grease all the studs and stuff a little bit, uh, but release the wheel, bring the car up, okay? Take all these things off, release that clip. Regarding this clip, okay? I shouldn't have taken it off. You basically just pry a screwdriver, just here, a nice fat one, and hold it, otherwise it'll fly. So you just pry under there, lift it off. In, in installation, you put it in like that. It's amazing how many mechanics actually can't do it. And then you get cutters over here. Where am I? On the bottom here, you get cutters over here, side cutters, and bring it over. But it does help to have that tightened first, obviously. So that's the very, very last thing you do. Um, now, loosen this, like any car, and you start off, I, I start off over here, okay, and I, I bring the piston in, then I get a bit of clearance in the pad, and I then push in from here. So it's sort of marked me up there, <coughs> But that piston's nearly in. Now, with the Golfs, they're not. It looks in. It's nearly in. It's not in. I'll just continue. Okay? And I do this a lot of times before loosening them so far. Right? But you can now use a G-clamp or whatever. But, you know, bring it over like that. And then off you go. Right? You can see here that the pad's not going to make the next long service, long life oil interval. Okay, get rid of that, get rid of that. Then clean all this up, always. Right. Bit of this. Okay, you can put on the pad or there. Okay, take them out, do them, and reinstall the pads. A lot of them have a 3M backing on here, like this one. So, you can see here. Now, they stick on there and you just whack the pad out. Um, now you can see another thing I'd normally don't do. So I would have fully bled the caliper in its position before I continued. And being in a workshop at the moment, working alone and you know, there's distractions and stuff. You don't leave this. Okay. We've all done it. You leave this, you leave brake fluid draining before you know it, you've got air in the system, but also you don't tip it upside down. Okay. And this is for any car. I like to do this and finish with it over here so no matter who walks in it can be once it was um you know some movie star he got they said i oh, i said i don't give a fuck i finish with this when i want to finish with it so if you're draining the brake fluid now's the time to do it obviously you start at the other side but when you do this don't leave the vehicle right finish closing it put the cap on it and you're done because then you have to worry about it. Now, if you want to go and re-bleed it, it's sort of showing you don't have any confidence in what you did and you might not have done it properly the first time. If you tip the caliper upside down, you're going to get air bubbles come out and you bleed it. But these golfs are notorious. Like, there's so many people who've worked here, they've done especially with the back brakes, which are different, and you get a low pedal. And I'm not talking about ruining the handbrake actuator before you pump the brakes up but you get a low pedal because the air is not evacuated they haven't given it enough time if these are blocked usually doing that will unblock them or you take it out and unblock it because there's not much here for it to get corroded and stuff so as you can see the brake fluid here is pretty good condition uh right you could see just from taking that out there's a little air bubble right Little air bubble. But another thing is with air, you don't want to open it all the way. With air, you want to monitor air bubbles. The less that's open here, right? 
the more you can see. If you have doubts, just leave it for three minutes and let it go that way. Always top up the master before you begin or suck it out and refill it uh, and overfill it before you begin. If you can't open this with a proper tool, then don't do it. Um, and the last note, I've been getting cars in with twisted brake lines. Now, it can't really happen here, or can it? Yeah, well, no, not easily, but I'm getting cars in like this, okay, on the Jap cars. It's really bad stuff. So that's a general guide. Keep it clean. But again, if you're going to start spraying, you like always say, if you're going to start fucking spraying everything with different solvents and stuff, with oil residues, don't do it. Just wipe it with a tissue and be done with it. Like, you know what I mean? It's not the end of the world. This is just brake dust at the moment. Um, now, whether or not you would replace the disc, that's up to you. This disc is fine for the city at the moment, with, even with that small lip. But on, if you're doing, you know, long intervals, autobahns overseas, well, that's up to you. But it's, these are very powerful, effective brakes, but it just gives you the shit to keep just seeing damage, especially here, and you know, caps missing off here. I mean, you know, I like to work systematically, so I'll pull the clips off, the boots, whatever I do, I'll replicate on the other side immediately in the dead ahead position, right? And then you're not double sort of doing it again. Now, you can do this, put the wheel on and finish it, and then come here, take the wheel off, but you'd be surprised, you don't really, like, as a professional, you're better off, and it's it's more method method. It's better off when you take the clip off and you take the clip off there. Because if someone's fucked this clip off, you're gonna know immediately. You're gonna be in the heads up over the situation with the car. If anything's missing with the car, I've had a lot of mechanics work here, and they'll do one wheel and then the other, and then one hour later, there's just some drama on the other side. So what I do is crack it all off. So I'll open this bleeder right and i will let that drain i'll go to the other side push the piston in let that drain come back here put the piston in make sure the brake fluid is nice and clear uh you know if you start getting all foggy sort of stuff through it well you've got to change your brake fluid or use a brake fluid tester but uh yeah at the end you put water on it to get this off you know the more shit you spray on these rubbers the more they go now another note if you're putting all these adhesive bullshit uh, glues and stuff, they always tear these rubbers. And these are really good quality here, but uh, they tear these rubbers. So the only thing you should be putting on here is actually the synthetic type stuff like this. If you want to keep those seals, you know, nice and whatever, you do it that way. Now, if you want to spray the whole thing with brake cleaner and make it all brand new and paint your calipers, that's great. Good, good stuff. But as a workshop doing the job where i have to rip people off and doing it in a time effective way that's the way to do the brakes um you know go around systematically even when doing all four i will go and release 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 and that way you're right okay i've got parts missing there or something's fucked on the other side and then you proceed the job that way uh, and that way you don't really get caught if you're going to start being a novice and doing whatever just allow plenty of time um, for that and just remember you don't need any fancy tools with this single piston caliper you get the driver in here drag the caliper over if it's not going to drag these are seized up these are very rare to fully seize up they're a brilliant design as you can see no one's lubricated them before like they're just dry as but it, they're brilliant it's unlike the japanese here um so that's that uh with this connector connect it up to right towards the end because when this moves, it'll snap this off clean right there. And then you'll be, you know, worrying about that side of the, 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 the terminal. Anyway, hope that helps. Uh, long video, actually. But got a jet. Bye.